All right, thank you very much, Tim Scott, Nick Lemer, alongside Gian Ruffin, now joined by a player of the game, Mark McCoy. Mark, congratulations on the victory tonight. Thank you very much. Felt pretty good to uh, get out there on the mound again and uh, pitch six, six strong innings and just get a W. Is this the first time we've had you on the postgame show this season? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, uh, is. How does it feel to be back here under the lights at Cardane's Field? Uh, it feels great. I mean, uh, this is why I came back, to pitch in big games, pitch, pitch uh Long innings, pitch, uh, just in general, pitch here because, I mean, it's one of a kind here. I, I love it here, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else to spend my summer. Uh, a couple housekeeping questions. That third inning was a little bit wild. We saw a lot of things happening early in this ball game. We saw warnings issued as well. Uh, yeah, the warnings were issued. Uh, as most people know here, that I'm a fiery guy and kind of funny, and uh, I didn't like it. I mean, if you're going to throw other guys, I mean, you're going to get thrown back. I mean, when I hit the guy, I didn't do it on purpose, but... Well, I have, to, I have to say that, but uh, let's just say that I played it off pretty well. Of course, uh, earlier on in the game, though, we saw warnings issued as well as a few few players were hit, of course, over the course of this game. I think three on each side. But one of the weirder plays we saw was a potential double play ball. Blaze Salter was heading the second base, and the ball was essentially hit off his helmet. Uh, I can't comment about that one because I was in the bathroom at that point, and I came out. and uh, You missed it. Yeah, I missed it. I asked what happened, but... Uh, I mean, I, I guess that's that's what started it. I guess I'm not I'm not too sure how it started, but I mean, hey, uh, we handled it with class. We handled it the right way, and we'll just keep it in the back of our mind for future future games. How about the offense tonight? Ten runs up on the board. Jose Vizcaino with a three-run bomb. Uh, that bomb couldn't have been any time. That bomb couldn't have been timed any better. Uh, as you t as you were just talking about uh, the scuffles and everything, the pitcher and. Uh, after it all settled down, he goes, yeah, yeah, and then he hits the next guy and starts up again. But, I mean, that's just a great swing, big spot, and just a great home run. Gian? Mark, great outing tonight. Uh, as we mentioned, six innings of long relief. Uh, what do you attribute to that success in coming in in a long relief, not traditional as you are a relief pitcher? Uh, I think I got to contribute that to Coach Long as a uh, – I didn't get that much innings this year, so we're trying to stretch me out and hopefully get a start soon. So this is a good step in the right direction. But uh, a couple, two, about a week and a half ago, Coach Long said that you got to start running, you got to start running. And I'm not a big fan of running, but uh, it actually helped out tonight because uh, as my upper body got tired, my legs were, were there to rely on. So I, I would uh, give it up to Coach Long. Yeah, you, you referenced your legs there. It seemed like you were reaching back for a couple of these pitches, and uh, a loud pop in the, in the, in the mitt. Uh, different from some of the other pops that we uh, heard from you tonight. Um, do you attribute that uh, success and that extra uh, ability to bring it a little bit more on some of those pitches to Coach Long in your preparation, as you said? Uh, yes, I do. As, uh, as Coach Long says, and I, as I, I stay by, uh, legs feed the wolf, and you pitch with your legs, and you, you, you throw with your legs, you pitch with your head. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's all about legs, core strength for me. So. Now, uh, Mark, you're a Jersey guy. Jersey guy is notoriously uh, tough, as I am myself, so we have to represent. But uh, as you said, uh, temper started flaring a little bit in this game. Uh, did you use that as motivation towards the end to uh, have success tonight on the mound? Um, yes, yes. I mean, uh, I'm an ex-football. I played football in high school, and there I was a fiery guy. So the, kind of the football mentality came out in me tonight, and uh, I need to pitch like that more often because once I find that zone, I don't care who you are. If you step in the box, you ain't going to hit me. Well, Brock, we saw you in that zone in the eighth inning. You struck out the side after that leadoff hit. Uh, yes, I did. After uh, Coach Long came out, he just said to stay balanced, uh, stay back. And uh, I actually thought I was throwing my hardest in that inning than, than any other inning because, as you said, the glove was popping differently. So I don't know where that came from. Maybe my legs. Maybe I was using more of my legs. But I'll have to check the video for that one. All right, Mark McCoy, your goal is play of the game. Congratulations on the victory here tonight and the goal is 10-5 win. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'll send it back up to the booth as the captain, Tim Scott, and Courtney Guard all have more.